Peter Schiff gets fired. Well, not from a literal point of view, but more from a figurative point of view. Let's take a look at this. All right, I'm over here at brightscope.com. Brightscope.com just has financial data. And over here, you can see this is Euro Pacific Capital, the information that I dug up. And the total assets under management, it says it's approximately $612 million. Once again, that's not an exact number, approximate. And once again, people come in and out of a firm or they say, hey, manage my money. And then they say, you know what, I'm done with this. And then they leave. And also there's volatility in the market. So that's why this number is an estimate or an approximate. So I found it from one source. I wanted to dig deeper to see, okay, are these numbers truly accurate? All right. And then I went to whalewisdom.com, and then this is the form ADV compilation report of Euro Pacific Capital. And then if I go all the way down to this, regulatory assets under management. So then let me just zoom in so you guys could see what I'm seeing. So you see over here. What's the amount of regulatory assets under management? Discretionary, five million. So if yes, what's the regulatory assets under management? Non-discretionary. So you add this and this, so it's approximately six point four million, or I mean, excuse me, six hundred forty-five million. Okay. So as you can see, that Peter Schiff has approximately somewhere between. 630 million dollars and possibly on the high end of 670 million so I don't know what it is right now because this was done August 6 where the gold price was higher now gold has gone down and we know that he's heavily weighted towards gold so that's something to think about but long story short what I was saying about Peter Schiff getting fired, well, let's try to look at some articles in the past to try to figure out what his assets under management were. I still have trouble digging up what the total assets under management were because, number one, that data is really hard to come by. I didn't take screenshots at that time. Two, I mean, I remember seeing something like $2 billion at one point, assets under management. I can't confirm that. But I did see one video on that a while ago. If you look at this uh, Denver Post article in 2008, right, right near the financial crash, and as you can see here, it says Schiff heads Euro Pacific Capital, a brokerage in Darien, Connecticut, with more than one billion dollars in assets under management. And obviously, with that crash in 2008, his assets did go down in value, right? To what extent? I do not know. Some people said 40%, 50%. I don't know. I did remember seeing that he did make some acquisitions as well. So that does add to the picture as well. But anyways, if this article is accurate and the information that I'm showing you is accurate over here at whalewisdom.com and also at brightscope.com assuming that's true initially if he had one billion dollars in assets and that has gone down to six hundred million dollars and at one point it was closer to five hundred million dollars around that range you're looking like at a forty percent haircut at least and I'm thinking that if it was more than $1 billion, at $1.2 billion in one place that I saw, then it's what? More than a 50% haircut in the price of or in the assets under management. So one thing you could deduce out of this, number one, there are a lot of individuals that are frustrated with Schiff's management system and then have left. Or two, they're still pissed off, but they're still holding their assets with Schiff and his company. I just find that really, really, really interesting because number one, this guy, he was at the peak, right? 2007, 2008, his predictions came true. 
and a lot of people respected him. Now people are hating on him, right? Even those individuals who claim to be libertarian-minded and conservative-minded. Remember, this industry is based on one thing. Could you perform within the last six months? And Schiff has a different mentality. He looks at at from a longer picture, right? A 10, 15, 20-year outlook. Even though he said that the crash is going to happen in 2011, 2012. Okay, he was wrong. But still, he is under the Austrian school of belief that eventually SHTF, which I agree with as well. Now the issue is the timing, right? Will it happen in two years? Will it happen in five years? A decade? Two decades? Three decades? When I will retire? I have no freaking idea. But that, this is something really interesting to note. If you want to look at the gold price, right? It's been going down, 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 down. While the stock market's going, going up, up, and up. I did some videos about that. Talked about the yen carry trade. Probably having something to deal with that as well. Long story short, those inv excuse me, those individuals investing with Schiff are getting frustrated as it's under management. At least 40% lower than what I've been reading at. But who knows? I don't have the exact data. But what do you guys say? You see a guy like Schiff. You could see his hair graying. You could see him frustrated. You could see him a lot of arguments with him on TV where he's just yelling and shouting, right, at those guests. Even though those guests are ignorant, right, it just seems that the tides have turned from 2006, 2007, where he was at the top, and now he's going back to a place where he hasn't seen in a few years. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Leave your comments below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.